Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, otherwise known as ALS, is a rare debilitating disease that severely alters a person's life. So what is ALS? ALS is a neurodegenerative disease which affects voluntary muscle movements such as talking and walking. A neurodegenerative disease is another way of saying neurons are dying. In ALS specifically, motor neurons or neurons that control muscles are slowly dying. This means messages between the brain and the muscles cannot be sent and this leads muscles to weaken and deteriorate. Some early symptoms include muscle stiffening and loss of motor muscle control manifested in spasms. These symptoms then worsen and start to affect speech, eating, and eventually breathing. In fact, majority of the patients die due to respiratory failure or the inability to breathe within three to five years. Currently, ALS has no cure, but there are treatments available to help slow down the disease progression. The first FDA-approved drug for ALS Realizol, which works by inhibiting the molecule glutamate, which is thought to contribute to neuron injury. This helps reduce symptoms associated with ALS and increases the time it takes for patients to require assistance for breathing. A trial conducted by Ben Simon et al. in 1994 looked at the effects of Realizol in patients with ALS. Patients were administered 100 mg of either Riluzol or the control per day and the number of surviving patients were noted after 12 months. They found that 74% of patients who were given Riluzol survived after 12 months compared to the 58% in the control group. With this study, it was concluded that Riluzol helped significantly slow down the progression of the disease. After the discovery of Riluzol, it took another two decades to figure out another way to help treat ALS. Up until October of 2018, the only approved drug for ALS in Canada was Riluzol. Aderavone is a drug alongside Riluzol that has been approved for the treatment of ALS in the United States, South Korea, Japan, and more recently, Canada. Aderavone works differently than Riluzol, instead by reducing oxidative stress. Oxidative stress encompasses toxins that are harmful for the body. This drug allows for the body to constantly neutralize these harmful substances. One study looked at the effects of a Deravon in ALS mouse model and found that the progression of motor movement decline was reduced significantly. Furthermore, a phase 3 clinical study conducted by Abe et al. in 2017 in Japan looked at the efficiency and safety of a Deravon. Using a scale that measured ALS patient function, the researchers found that function declined at a slower rate for patients who were given a Deravon than the control. Although these results are promising, efficacy was determined through a small specific population and the findings cannot be transferred to a wider population. Although a Deravon has been approved for treatment of ALS in Canada, issues such as cost and whether it can be covered by a drug plan are still up for discussion. The recent approval of this drug gives hope for additional treatments for ALS and highlights the continued support for ALS research. For more information and to learn how you can support ALS awareness and research, please visit ALS Society of Canada at www.als.ca.